Wild turkeys are large, plump birds with long legs. You often see them walking in fields or on the edges of wooded areas. The distinctive gobble and beautiful tail plumage on the male makes them easy to identify. Founding father Benjamin Franklin supposedly advocated that the turkey should be our national bird and not the eagle. He was right about one thing. The turkey would have made a great national bird. However, many historians believe that this story is a myth. Before colonization, many indigenous cultures domesticated turkeys and kept them as food animals. We see them in folklore from these tribes with similar stories as the Europeans had about chickens. Turkey feathers have been used traditionally in regalia in many tribes. The Wampanoag had feathered cloaks and headdresses. Excuse the shaky footage, I took this from a moving vehicle. Turkeys are widespread throughout the USA and down into Mexico. Wild turkeys are right at home in urban parks. This was shot at the Arboretum at the University of Wisconsin in downtown Madison. It wasn't always easy that way. Turkeys were near hunted to extinction. During my childhood in rural Kentucky, it was rare to see wild turkeys. When I purchased my first farm in the early 1900s, that I'm not that old. In the early 1990s, the Department of Natural Resources was releasing turkeys to try to increase populations. I signed up to be a release site. The DNR delivered seven juvenile turkeys to me that were released on my farm. It was very exciting to watch them scratching in my woods. Reintroduction programs like these were very successful and helped the turkey return to being a species of least concern. Wild turkeys mainly live in forested areas with interspersed open fields. However, they can also be found in deciduous and mixed woodlands. The wild turkey is well adapted to its environment. During the day, they look for food and at night roost in the trees. Turkeys are omnivores. They like seeds, nuts, berries, snails, and insects. Acorns are a favorite food. They also eat small mammals such as mice and voles. They typically forage in the early morning and evening. However, I often see them out in fields during the day. They especially like to go into corn and wheat fields after harvest and eat spilled grains. Wild turkeys mate in late spring and early summer. Females lay a clutch of 10 to 12 eggs, which take 28 days to hatch. The baby wild turkeys are called poults, and they are able to fly and run shortly after hatching. Both wild turkey parents care for the poults, teaching them how to find food and avoid predators. In addition, the male wild turkey will help incubate the eggs. The poults stay with their parents for several months, learning how to find food and avoid predators. Wild turkeys live in groups called flocks. Flocks can have from a few birds to several hundred birds. Male turkeys display their fine foliage in order to get female appreciation. This display of fanning out their tail, puffing out their chest, and strutting around is part of their courtship display. The more colorful the tail, the more attractive the male is to a female wild turkey. Turkeys are actually very good flyers. They can also run up to 25 miles per hour, but they usually only do so when trying to escape a predator. Turkeys fly up and roost in trees at night to avoid predators. One of the best ways to deter wild turkeys from your garden is to install fencing around the perimeter. The fence should be six to eight feet high and three inches above the ground. If wild turkeys are regularly foraging through garbage cans, secure the cans with a locking lid. Wild turkeys are also attracted to bird feeders. 
If you have a bird feeder in your yard, put it in a location where the wild turkeys cannot see it easily. Alternatively, hang bird feeders at least 10 feet off the ground so they are not accessible. Wild turkeys are an important part of the ecosystem. They help to control populations of harmful insects and rodents. In addition, they are an important game bird. They provided food for Native Americans and early settlers in North America. Wild turkeys are also important to the economy. The wild turkey is the state bird of six states, Arkansas, Delaware, Georgia, Kentucky, Missouri, and Pennsylvania. And they are popular with nature photographers and hikers. I hope you found this video informative. Please like and subscribe to learn more about native wildlife and organic gardening. Thanks and have a fabulous day.